So guys, for the first step, you want to head over to search and type in registry editor. Click on it and then click on yes. Now once you're on this, you can follow everything I'll be doing up here. So first you want to expand HK local machine and then you want to expand software and then you want to expand Microsoft and then you want to scroll down and expand Windows NT. We're going to expand Windows NT and now you want to expand current version and now you want to expand multimedia. And now you want to click on system profile. Now once you're on this, you want to double click on network throttling index. And now for the value data, you want to type in F eight times, like I'm showing you on screen right now. You want to type in F eight times, make sure that the base is on hexadecimal and then click on okay. Now once you've done that, you want to close out all these folders again. This may take a while. Scroll up, close out all these folders. And now you want to follow everything I'm doing up here again. You want to expand HK local machine. And now we're going to expand system. And now we're going to expand current control set. Now we're going to expand services. And now we're going to scroll down and expand TC PIP. Scroll down. You want to expand TC PIP. And then you want to expand parameters. And then you want to click on interfaces. And then you want to expand interfaces. Now once you've expanded interfaces, you're going to have three subfolders right here, or you may have more or you may have less. You want to click on the folder, which looks like that you have the most amount of stuff in there. So I'm going to click on the first one. I haven't got much in here. Second one, I haven't got much in here. Third one, I have the most in here. So we're going to be going with the third one. Now once you're on here, you want to right click on an empty space and then click on new and then click on dword 32 bit value. Now we're going to type in TCP ACK frequency. Make sure you type it the exact same way with the same capitals and same lowercase letters. Now once you've done that, we're going to right click on the black space again, click on new, and then we're going to click on dword 32 bit value again. You're going to type in TCP no delay. Click on enter. The exact same capitals and spelling. Now once you've done that, we're going to click on TC pack frequency, change the value data to 1, and click on OK. Now we're going to click on TCP no delay, change the value data to 1, and click on OK. Now once you've done all that, we're now going to close out all of this. Scroll up to the very top. This may take a while. Close out all of this. Now once you've done that, you can follow everything I'll be doing up here again. So you want to expand HK local machine. Then you want to expand software. And then you want to expand Microsoft. Now once you've expanded Microsoft, you want to look for a folder that's called MSMQ. You want to scroll down till we find MSMQ. Now you might not actually have it. So if you do not have MSMQ, you want to scroll back up. Then you want to right click on Microsoft on the Microsoft folder, click on new and then click on key. And now you want to create a new folder that's called MSMQ. Click on enter. I'm not going to do it because I already have the folder, but you might not have it. So you have to do that. So now if you have the MSMQ folder or if you just created it, we're going to scroll down and we're going to find it. So here it is for me. You want to click on it. Now once you're on the MSMQ folder, you want to right click on the black space, click on new and then click on dword 32 bit value. Now we're going to type in TCP no delay. Click on enter with the exact same capitals and lowercase as I did. Now you want to double click on TCP no delay and then set the value data to 1 and click on OK. Now once you've done that, now we're going to right click on the MSMQ folder and then click on new and then click on key. Now we're going to type in parameters like this, click on enter. And now you want to click on the parameters folder. And now once you're in the parameters folder, you want to right click on the blank space, click on new and then click on dword 32 bit value. Now we're going to type in TCP no delay, the same capitals again. Now you want to double click on TCP no delay, change the value data to 1 and then click on OK. Now once you've done all of this, you want to restart your computer and then your ping will be lowered. 